Hi everyone, this is Vainas Maharadi. I am the biomedical engineer and founder of Armstrong Medical Equipment Services. On this video, I am going to explain about MyPet Survive Ventilator. Uh, how to use this ventilator, basic things I will explain on this video. So, this is the MyPet Survive Ventilator. And, uh, see here, this is the inspiratory and this is the expiratory. So first, whenever uh, you are going to switch on this ventilator and uh, ready to connect the patient, we have to check this mains power indication. So first, we are connected to the mains power or not, we will, uh, we came to know uh, after check this thing. Just see here, the green color light is, uh, LED light is glowing. So which means you are connected to the mains power. If you are not connected to the mains power, with the battery backup, it will switch on. But first thing, if you notice this thing means uh, it is easy. Uh, to know uh, it is connected or not. So here, see this is the display back side. We have a on off switch. So after switch on the ventilator, door will close automatically. So which means uh, uh, to hide the switch after switch on. If anyone uh, the patient attenders or someone if they don't know about the ventilator, they will switch on the ventilator. The switch off the ventilator means uh, it may severe. Uh, problem to the patient so this is the screen after booting so here see we want to start the preview check on this ventilator we have a preview check uh, uh, thing uh, that one it is not mandatory but if you do this thing uh, if any internal uh, test uh, if any uh, internal problems uh, any board issues anything is there means you came to know on this checkout so, if you have time, you can do preview check, otherwise you can press the no. So, after that, uh, do you want to delete patient data? The previous patient data, if you want to delete, means you can delete and the fresh data, the uh, current patient data will enter on trends. So, so, this is the page. And the basic thing I told you about the main score, after that, after booting the unit, you can see in status air pressure water pressure is coming or not first you have to check this thing so air pressure is coming and water pressure is coming and uh, water pressure and air pressure 4 to 4.5 5 bar means uh, that is a very good thing you can ventilate to the patient so this is the uh, this particular ventilator software data and system version these are things so see now we have a adult infant Invasive, non-invasive. So, adult and invasive. And in adult, in non-invasive, the screen will change like this. So, you came to know this uh, ventilator uh, after seeing the display. Th this is in non-invasive, like that you can uh, notice the thing. So, here, this is the invasive. And see, here, it is in adult or infant. You can uh, check during ventilation also. You can see this... Uh, human symbol so which means this is in adult if it is in infant it will show like this the icons after seeing the icons you can uh, notice it is in adult or infant mode so now on this page we have uh, modes volume control pressure control PIBC volume support SME volume control and CPAP SME pressure control SME PIBC and bivent uh, nothing but uh, APIB and this is the NAVA mode uh, this is very high end mode on MacPet ventilator so in MacPet survival ventilator uh, basically NAVA mode is not using uh, in India so which means uh, if you want to use the NAVA mode uh, the ED module also required so I choose volume control after select the mode you can see the settings so in volume control we have these all settings uh, these all settings you have to uh, change depending on patient uh, weight and patient data see after selling this you can just rotate this so 500 ml by that ml like that on this ventilator we have a uh, universal uh, modality which means uh, infant to adult means 2 ml to uh, 1800 and more ml we have option 
see so no ventilator is in standby and patient not ventilated it will show like this so this is the test plan so i have corrected the test plan and in the the particular mode settings we have this is the basic and uh, uh, these these all settings if you want to set or not just the basic settings will come on here also on these four knobs so you can accept if you want to select the whole day a uh, whole patient settings you can select here otherwise you can accept and you just set here also so now see auto concentration and p and uh, respiration rate and tidal volume and the additional settings also is there so which is uh, we, we have been seen on the previous screen also so ist and trigger see so now start ventilation see on display uh, we just uh, divide the data like three so this is the waveform field and this is the set field and this is the uh, patient uh, uh, dig dig digital field uh, patient expiratory uh, full data it will show here the digit digits the values so see peak air pressure flow volume and uh, this is the set data see with rotating this uh, small knobs you can change the p respiration rate go to concentration and tidal volume also and uh, this macro survey ventilator is electronically controlled and electronically driven so if you want to enter the patient data also you can enter here admit patient so see here this is the switch first standby so if you are moving the patient to somewhere like ct scan mri like that means you can just press this and go to the standby so again you can press this same switch or you can uh, select here also you can touch with a uh, uh, touch screen you can here also otherwise you can press this to start ventilation and this uh, moreover this display is a tft display uh, if you touch with a nail means uh, that is uh, very accurate instead of uh, skin touch so here see the keys i will explain about the keys also here this is the alarm silence to meet alarm silence key and this is the alarm setup so high limits low limits and sound level also we can select here and in uh, volume control this control mandated remote we have auto set also but in sm we don't come and this is the trend data 24 hours patient trend data previous history we can see here so this is the neural axis actually uh, on this ventilator we have a foreign language another language it's not english so here this is the neural axis in neural axis we have ed catheter positioning and now preview whenever you are using the now mode the high mode we we have the uh, here ed ed catheter module and we have a nebulization port we have if you have on this this ventilator have a software option if you want to use that you have to buy a hardware things also see this is the menu in menu we have a alarm alarm profile alarm alarm history and alarm mute also we can do the same buttons here also and this is the review the review means uh, recorded waveforms we have snapshot also uh, if you press the snapshot button the recorded waveforms will come actually previously i pressed this one so that data with the time and date it will come so you can move the cursor and you can see exact which time the depolarization repolarization of the wave waveform and the settings also you can see the recorded waveforms if any uh, any particular time the patient uh, sats has been down any uh, uh, different things happened the time if the nursing staff is there and uh, the doctors is not available means they can press this often of a doctor can he can see the particular time what happened to the patient so on recorded waveforms we have that option and trends data also is there it will come but it won't come that much data in trends it will show just the peak pressure plateau pressure these all things it will show but it won't show uh, the particular data like uh, recorded waveforms so 
if they are taking snapshot means the total photo will come you can uh, see that thing and this is the quick access button in quick access button we have a suction support suction support means uh, they, are, they are doing suction the nursing staff to the patient they are doing suction means they have to press this uh, button of suction support and they accept this so here it will come it will take the software algorithm is about 2 minutes, two minutes. see it is showing patient disconnected so after suction completion they can connect directly it will start ventilation so which means they wear the gloves and uh, uh, the glove will unsteady so they can't touch here after uh, while, uh, before doing suction or after doing suction they can't touch so that's why the suction support algorithm is there they can go directly and just one time they start the suction so after do the suction also they need no need to touch the display panel so if we will uh, we'll do pre oxygenation and post oxygenation also so after that it will come again to the 40 uh, whatever you have selected previously about the concentration after suction uh, that uh, procedure see this is the loops we have our loops volume pressure flow volume and uh, you can uh, see the reference loop also two reference loops also at a time you can see here see so the cycle change means the loop change means it will show here with the reference loop the intensivist can observe the thing about the patient's parameter data. So in quick access we have our loops and waveform scales also is there. This, uh, this is the auto scale actually now. If you want to change the scale also you can select. So this is the waveform configuration. Preserve flow volume is coming. If you want to change the on the three, you want to add some more thing means uh, on that uh, volume, you can select. If you have a ED catheter, it will come. So this button is a normal screen button. So where you are in any other page, you you unable to come. Uh, you don't know that thing. You want to come very fast to normal screen means you can press this button. So this is the rotating knob, encoder knob. Whatever setting you want to set means you can use this one instead of our touch. So like this. And uh, here. This is the O2 breath and this is the manual breath. O2 breath means 2 minutes oxygen will go to the 100% and 2 minutes uh, it will ventilate with the 100% O2 concentration. This is the inspiratory hole and this is the expiratory hole for flatty pressure and some uh, work, work, breathing, work of breathing, dissolved data and resistance for that things tube compensation, inspiratory hold and expiratory hold uh, will do. See static whether peak of dissolved data will come. See here in additional data we can see three pages is coming on digit values. This is the first one and this is the second one and this is the third one. And uh, in MacWare server event later, we have a display adjustments also like this. So this is rotating. So this is the basic about MacWare server event later, how to use this ventilator. And one more thing I want to explain about this ventilator is the expiratory cassette. This is the expiratory cassette. And so this cassette have a diaphragm. And this cassette maintenance is very very important to this ventilator. So the cassette cleaning procedure also is there. I will explain that thing also later. So this is the expiratory cassette and uh, you can fix like this. In Macworth survey ventilator, uh, we have a O2 sensing technology also two types. Uh, one is a O2 cell, galvanic O2 cell will come and another one permanent O2 sensing technology also is there. That is a magnetic para cube. We can call paramagnetic also that one. So this is the basic about the microwave survey ventilator and uh, about this ventilator technical data and complete features and uh, uh, high, high software algorithm these all things I will 